Guys, I absolutely love it when brands start popping up and new budget brands and well done knives start arriving. And I got this knife from Rosecraft. This is the Tarkanis and this is at the top of their line. I gotta say, this is one of the two knives that really stands out in my head when I think of Rosecraft blades. So we're gonna turn this around and take a look at this knife that I've absolutely fallen in love with. So guys, like I said in the intro, this knife has really, really won me over as far as the Rosecraft stuff. This is the knife that I think, this one and the Barra that uh, Swag's designed, the little blue one that with had the pry bar in the back. This thing is so, so good. And I can't believe the price they've got this for. This thing is only $68. So this is the Tarkanis designed by Andy Armstrong. So much good stuff to say about this knife. But first of all, one, it's beautiful. Let's go ahead and get this laid down. We'll do some quick specs. Now, I just wanted to point out, if you guys don't think I like this knife, this is staying in my collection. I absolutely love this. So let's get some quick specs out of the way. So you're looking at a three inch ARRPM9 steel blade that's been PVD coated and the PVD on this was done very well. It has held up to a lot of cutting. Uh, so your overall length is coming in at 7.2 inches because you've got a 4.2 inch handle that is done in, in this case, red and black G10 that they've done very, very well. Their handles have always been awesome. So you're looking at a 4.6 ounce knife. Andy Armstrong did a good job designing a knife that that was not overly, overly heavy, but it was. this thing is stout, I gotta tell you. Uh, it's done in a liner lock and it's running on bearings and it does have a ceramic set of bearings. So thumb stud and front flipper on this. So not a bad looking knife at all. Let's get some size comparisons. Your first knife's gonna be Migram Knives Valona, just simply because that's what I'm carrying today. This thing is a nine inch knife. So you can see this is not a big knife. Your next knife for size comparison is the Benchmade 940, another knife that most of you guys are gonna know for relative size comparison. Uh, you can see it's a little bit shorter than the 940. And then your final knife, as always, the Chris Reeves Sabenza Large 21, so you guys can see it's uh, it's it's not a small knife. It's it's coming in the same range as this one. So let's get this out of the way and start talking about this knife. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and start talking about this. I have to say up front, this did come to me directly from Rosecraft. They are, uh, I am a, a brand ambassador with them, so I don't make any money on the sale of knives, but they do provide me with a discount code for you guys, which is crazy sharp, all one word, but they provide knives for review. So I got to say, this knife really stood out to me. As a country boy, this is the kind of knife that I would have absolutely carried all the time on the farm. So you are looking at this beautiful drop point ARPM9 blade that comes down to a decent behind the edge thickness. It is just about what I want for a knife that I would carry for the purposes that I would carry this knife for, like outdoor stuff. that has got a very good blade shape, nice area flat, and then a little bit of belly. This is the kind of knife that you can use all around for all kinds of stuff, skin out game, just doing general tasks on the farm, things like that. You could throw this in your knife if you're going rabbit hunting, squirrel hunting, even maybe something larger. I don't think this would be the knife I would want to take on like an elk hunt or something like that. Uh, the grind on it is really nice and consistent. I found zero issues with this blade. It's done in ARRPM9, which means I absolutely have not had to sharpen this yet. And as you can see, I did a lot of cutting. All I needed to do with this, I hit it on a ceramic rod maybe once, but most of it was I just dropped this blade. ARRPM9 steel is very responsive to a strop and you don't necessarily have to resharpen as often. The blade is then set in these beautiful handles. Rosecraft has absolutely provided me some of the most striking knives I've seen. Now, not everybody likes the red and black. That is personally one of my favorite things that they've been doing are these very well done, absolutely gorgeous red and black G10 handles. So you've got this marriage point here. You can't even feel it, can't tell, is one continuous piece, but man, is it beautiful. The handles on it are contoured so that you've got a good feel, very, very good feel in hand. They are completely contoured. Not only are they nice and broad, they are rounded over 
it does it just it, it's such a secure grip it just feels good to cut with and it sits in the pocket and rides nicely the pocket clip on it speaking of pockets is one of their broad at the back skinny at the front deep carry pocket clips that they've been using on a lot of their knives I find them to be very comfortable and it's a reversible clip if you want to carry this left-handed. You've got really some of some really great access to the lock bar on this. They didn't take this and make it too thin so it doesn't feel sharp. It's lowered a little bit on this side so you have access, but it's not done to the point where it feels out of sorts. A lot of times people will take this down too deep and then it feels thin on this side and it just feels awkward. You don't have that at all. All of the hardware is black on this, which looks really, really good, except for the thumb studs that gives you that pop of contrast. So action on this, it just slams open. It's got really, really good action. You can thumb flip or reverse flip off of the thumb studs. And I mean, the action, listen to it, it just snaps open. And then you have got a really well done, very well done top flipper. Uh, a lot of times I have problems with top flippers because I've lost a little bit of my manual dexterity. This stands up proud enough and tall enough I can get on it. And you can even slow roll it with that top flipper. So just really good, beautiful action. It's got a, a half backspacer that they've set a lanyard pin in. So if you're a lanyard kind of guy, you've got that there and you don't have a hole punching through here, uglying up the knife. Now in hand, radius all the way from tip to tail which gives it a very good feel in hand and it's also got this swell here so you drop down into that and it's an an absolutely secure grip on that you get up on the spine of that blade and you can power cut down through stuff the the fact that this is radius means it just sits in your hand great and then since it's radius as well you don't lose any comfort if you get up on this like say you were doing some skinning you've got that in a pinch grip it's nice and rounded. It doesn't feel uh, like a hard edge or flat. You can get up on it and do stuff like that, sweeping around, doing some skinning on some small game. This is absolutely an outdoorsman's kind of knife. And I, I got to I gotta appreciate the fact that they're providing a knife that looks like this, looks this good, and it can be a knife that you would carry and do a lot of stuff with, but it's not unattractive. And at the price point, this is probably one of the better knives on the market right now. You know, they're they're having their stuff made offshore, yes, but they are an American company. So you're still supporting an American brand. And God, it is this is probably one of the better knives that have come in this year, especially at the price point. Now there are a couple small negative things about this knife, so we'll turn that around and talk about them. It's not a knock against knife, it's just some small things that I've found that I'm not necessarily a fan of. So let's go ahead and turn that around and take a look at it after you hear from this video's sponsor. Guys, did you know that Coffee Brand Coffee has more than just awesome on-demand roasted coffees and flavored coffees? They also have tea, cocoa, cold brew bags, decaf, and they have premium candies that will make your family go nuts. So check them out with the link down below to save 10% on some of the best coffee you're going to find. So three quick small things. One... The, the jimping on it. I wish the jimping was a little bit more aggressive. And I do know that it's probably finish on the blade and stuff like that. But you can see that these have been pretty much rounded off in the finishing process. They don't provide a lot of traction. And you guys have heard me say it. If I'm going to have jimping, I want it to be aggressive and functional. And this just is a little slip, more slippery than I would want. The next thing, the pocket clip has a tendency to wiggle a little bit and it has come loose a couple times. I think I, I've got to take it and take the pocket clip screws out and see if they're set down in the liner. And if they are, I'm going to Loctite them because I don't know how Loctite will work on, uh, on G10, how well it will work, but it does have a tendency, the pocket clip to get a little loose and then it will wiggle back and forth. And then the, the just, I'm sorry, there is one more thing. The, uh, this hard edge here, I wish that they had provided like a plate, even if they'd done it in G10, I do understand it's more milling, it's more time, but a plate would have knocked these, it would have prevented these sharp edges because sometimes you can feel them depending on what you're doing. You can feel your finger rub on them uh, and it, it would prevent stuff from getting down in the hole. And then this isn't a knock on the knife. I absolutely love it, but some people, this would be a negative for some people. The detent, the lock bar tension is very, oh, I'm sorry, there is one more thing. The lock bar tension is very 
hard. It's very heavy detent. I don't dislike it. I love a good heavy detent. Uh, but some people might not like how hard it is to disengage the lock bar. And then the final thing is the thumb studs. This is another one of those knives that will catch the top of the pocket every once in a while. And like, not necessarily, this has got a really, like I said, really heavy detent on it. So it has not tried to come part way open, but it will catch on your pocket and you, you, it'll catch the either frayed little threads at the top of the pocket or it will catch the pocket lip itself and actually just kind of give you a little bit of difficulty getting it out of the pocket from time to time. Other than that, those are some minor, minor things. I absolutely do love this knife. It's, it's, it is so good looking and striking and so good as an all around everyday carry. You just can't pass it up. I'll put a link to this down below. I believe they're like, they're under 70, they're under 60 bucks. They're like 49 or 50 bucks at some places. So there you go, guys. Let's turn this around, do some final thoughts, and send you out about your day. There you go, guys. I honestly have absolutely fallen in love with this knife. I had no intention of carrying it as long as I have for the review process. I'm going to keep it because I'm going to carry it for a long time. This is just everything that speaks to a, a guy that lived in the country. If you were a hunter, if you grew up on a farm, this knife is absolutely what's up your alley. And I love it. And the fact that it is just drop dead gorgeous does not hurt at all. So that's it on this one, guys. There's not much else to say. It took a lot longer to get around to this review than I thought it would because I've just enjoyed carrying it so much. So that being said, if you liked the video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Interacting with channels is the best thing you can do. Drop a comment. Let me know what you say. If you don't like the video, let me know, but you know, be respectful about it. Like, Tell me tell me what you don't like because I can't change the content if you don't. Uh, you saw an ad for Coffee Brand Coffee. I also have Tempered Trail. They are offering, Tempered Trail is offering almost indestructible laces for your outdoor boots, your casual shoes, things like that. All kinds of different colors. They are basically indestructible. Coffee Brand Coffee, 10% discount with both of those if you use the link down below or if you use coupon code CRAZYSHARP at checkout, all one word. That coupon code also works at Rosecraft Blades and farmforgeknifeworks.com. It's strictly a discount with those two vendors. I don't make anything on the sales of the knives. I've got a ton of affiliate links down below for all kinds of vendors. If you're looking for knives, you can find those, pick them up there, and I, it supports the channel. I've got an Amazon store. Use that for any shopping you're going to do. It supports the channel. doesn't cost you anything. And I've got a membership that is all tier-based. Everyone has access to my Gilded server, which is just like Discord. Baseline and premium tier members are entered into giveaways that I do. The premium guy are have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube. But everyone gets early access to my videos and everyone gets exclusive content when I do it. So there you go, guys. I love y'all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.